was the last time that the warning light on your car's dashboard turned on? What action did you take? Although nothing has yet happened, a warning light on your dashboard is usually a sign that something bad may be just around the corner. It's telling you to act now to prevent a breakdown. This is known as a weak signal, an advanced warning that something may be wrong. But how do we find the weak signals in major hazard industries? Incident investigations often find that there were notable signs that a problem was developing and was not acted upon. We must actively seek these weak signals and then act on them when we find them. Examples of weak signals include large amounts of overdue maintenance, abnormal readings from equipment, unexpected noises, or taking a long time to close out important safety actions. These each may seem unimportant, but it's important that we remain alert and vigilant to them. Effective management of process safety is not the absence of incidents, it is the presence of effective barriers. Weak signals tell us that there may be problems with our barriers. Organisations may wish to measure weak signals by establishing key performance indicators, or KPIs, where performance is actively monitored. There are two categories of KPI, leading indicators. This is when nothing bad has happened, but there is a sign that we are weakening our barriers. For example, measuring the amount of safety critical equipment that fails to meet its required performance when tested. This is a sign that if these safety systems are called into action, they may not perform as required. Lagging indicators. These tell us that something small has happened, which could be an indication of trouble around the corner. For example, an increasing number of minor releases of hazardous substances might be a sign that a larger release may not be far away. Selecting the correct KPIs is difficult. Here are four common KPIs. The number of senior management visits to site. This is an indication of how engaged senior management is with process safety. The number of process safety audits performed. This tells us how much assurance we are performing. The number of permit to work violations. This tests the strength of our control of work system, which is a key barrier to preventing incidents. And the number of alarms activated. This is an indication of how in control we are of our equipment and how often we are deviating from our intended mode of operation. Once KPIs have been selected, they should be visible to those who need to see how we are doing so that they can take the required action. These may be presented on a process safety dashboard. It's crucial that we don't just become focused on one KPI. All of them contribute to effective process safety management. Action must be taken when we see an area in which we are not performing well. At all times, we must maintain a chronic sense of vulnerability to a major accident occurring. If you see something, it is important that you report it so it can be investigated and the correct action is taken. So, what are the key takeaways? Just because a major accident has not happened for a long time does not mean that one may not be just around the corner. Investigations into accidents often find that there were notable signs that there were problems developing. Weak signals are signs of potential trouble and we must act on them if we spot them. Organisations may have identified some KPIs to measure weak signals.